the QCS laser or non-invasive laser, chances scientifically, the fundamental is it will stimulate the skin to produce collagen. Therefore, it will not thin the skin. It will thicken the skin. Laser in the market can mean many laser. And let me explain that there is such a laser known as invasive laser, a very common, commonly known as a carbon dioxide laser or even uh, fraxer laser or fractional laser. So these lasers are invasive and they will definitely cause the skin to thin. And that is definite. They are not stimulation laser. They're not stimulating collagen production, like in QCS, like in PICO laser. This is a laser that not only treat the skin, but stimulate the skin to produce collagen. CO2 laser is an ablative laser. It's a laser. But you make the skin thin for sure. After every CO2 laser, your skin is thinner. That is a fact because you, you actually erase, you eradicate and you remove the structure from the skin. So after a mole removal, after a seborrheic keratosis removal, you do a lot of this, your skin will become thin. CO2 never stimulate the skin to produce collagen. Okay, so uh, remember that if you are using CO2 laser to treat your skin, it will thin the skin for sure. You are using PICO laser, QCS laser, or non-invasive laser, chances, scientifically, the fundamental is it will stimulate the skin to produce collagen. Therefore, it will not thin the skin. It will thicken the skin.